everybody, it's Bill. We're at Walnut Ridge RV near Newcastle, Indiana, and we're gonna check out the Alliance Paradigm 395DS to find out, will I fit? And will, will we, we all fit? fit? I'm Bill from Nursing Our Travel Fund. I'm six foot ten. I'm six foot ten. Most people aren't six ten. I'm six ten. Most people aren't that tall. I'm six foot ten. Have I mentioned that? So the whole point of these videos is to find out will I fit? 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 We are on a mission to find that perfect RV that will fit a big and tall person like myself. So chances are if I fit, another person that's tall will fit as well. We're gonna start outside. You have a Kurt Rotaflex fifth wheel hitch here. This is what we have on our Valor currently. Can't say I have any complaints. Right under the front cap is your front storage bay. That's where your batteries are gonna be. There is generator prep. This one has a 40 amp charge controller for your solar system on the roof. Now there isn't an inverter on here. I really wish there was. Let's check around the side. Welcome to the driver's side of this beautiful RV. Uh, you will notice here this is the master bedroom slide out. This one does have the Schwintec slide. If you're not familiar with RVs, this is your control panel for your leveling system. Here is your propane tank. There is will be another one on the other side. These will hold usually a 30 pound tank. Watch your head. Pro tip, get yourself a pool noodle. So when you bonk your head on there, it doesn't hurt as much. Interesting, so that's the farthest that goes up. So depending on how level you are, this is the tall man's nemesis here. So in here is where you have your water station. One thing I'm noticing as an experienced RVer is that there's nothing really keeping water from splashing into your cargo area. Because constantly, if you're gonna unhook your hose, there's gonna be some drippage at least, let alone if you have a leak. There's also where there is a quick connect to hook up to that outdoor shower area. You're gonna have some water coming with that as well. Also noticing that this is where the poles are for two gray tanks and a black tank. I'm assuming there's another black tank somewhere since there's two bathrooms. Let's see if we can find that while we're walking around. Here's your water heater. Here's your furnace. This is where your 50 amp plug will hook in. This is a mystery door. I know what it is because I've checked out this model already. We'll show you exactly what you need to put in here when we go inside. Or at least what it's intended for. That's one of my favorite features that Alliance has included from the start. A Moride CRE 3000 suspension system. You got those beefier, thicker shackle straps. We got the super G-rated tires. These happen to be Westlake tires. I think it's wonderful that Alliance includes those and they have from the start. We've located the sewer connection for your second black tank. I assume this is the one that's right above here. There's a rear bathroom. Curious, there has to be a pull valve somewhere though. We'll still keep looking. First compartment up front there, that's where the other side of your propane tank. You should have two propane tanks, 30 pound tanks. That's nothing too exciting. That's what goes in there. 
This here is the other side of your whole pass-through storage. Plenty of storage in there. This is also where you some satellite hookups and your antenna for both your Wi-Fi antenna and your TV antenna. Those controls are in here as well. Another incredible feature Alliance includes that they've included from the beginning is the Lippert Solid Steps. Great for a big guy like myself. Let's head on inside. walk into when you enter this Alliance 395 DS is the kitchen. Now I really really love that Alliance stepped it up and put residential appliances in this new paradigm. So you have an insignia four burner stove with a standard oven. You can make anything in this oven and you have plenty of burner space up top to cook your meals. The best part is you don't have to put a baking stone in the bottom to make it heat evenly. This is awesome. You also have a matching Insignia microwave oven. Now this one is just a standard microwave oven. It is not a convection oven, but you don't need convection because you got that standard oven down here. Of course, lots of cabinets. Uh, these all are soft closed cabinets and they have powerful magnets. Ugh. <laughs> Those powerful magnets are going to be a huge, huge game changer when you're driving down that road and you hit a hole. So it keeps all of your stuff inside. Another game changer Alliance did was they reinforced the bottom of their drawers. That's one issue we've noticed in our two previous RVs is you can't put very many heavy things in there without the bottom sagging or popping out. So good job Alliance on listening to your customers and putting in that little feature here. Just underneath this bottom shelf is where you have all of your wiring and your fuses. And then over here to the left is all of your buttons for your slides and your lights, uh, your tank sensors, all of the things. There's your brains right there. So we've got cabinets, an oven, a microwave, a sink. Where's the refrigerator? Well, come this way, come this way. Keep spinning, keep spinning. Yes, just on the other side is this awesome Norcold refrigerator. Now what's awesome about it is that this is a 12 volt refrigerator. What is so great about this refrigerator is it is a Norcold product. So that is a manufacturer that's been in the business for a long time. You know, they put out an exceptional product. But this particular refrigerator does not run off of propane. This is a 12 volt refrigerator, making it very energy efficient. So if you want to unplug and boondock, this thing won't drain your batteries. What is this strange compartment I told you about earlier? What's in there? Hi. Well, <laughs> nope, just get that out of here. Uh, Actually, they're utilizing this empty space for a trash can. Welcome to my domain. This is where I would spend 98% of my time in this living area. What Natasha loves is this giant amount of storage above the TV. What I love is this giant 50 inch TV. It looks like it's a smart TV. It's actually an insignia brand from Best Buy. That's pretty cool. Another thing I think is really cool is that the TV will come out and it will swivel because if you can tell, a sliver of that TV over there is behind the slide up. So you'll have to do that in order to see the entire TV. Down below the TV is a Jensen radio. Looks like that is Bluetooth capable, so you can stream your Pandora or whatever right to your speakers. 
And of course, the fireplace. The fireplace is essential on a cold evening, and I can tell you that for a fact, because it's starting to get cold here in Indiana, and that thing will heat our entire RV to a point. The big reason why we had our sights set on this RV is because of the living room layout. As you can see, our entire family has room to sit and enjoy a family movie or watch a family show or play a game. This love seat here is actually a recliner. There's actually a USB charger right over here, which I'm not convinced is a fantastic placement for that. We have one in a similar placement in our chairs, and we bent a few cords just sitting down or standing up, forgetting it's there. This couch that we're sitting on right now is a trifold that folds out into a bed. So if you have guests, they can use it during the night. Something our current RV doesn't really have is a place for a guest to sleep. Sure, they could sleep on the couch, but that's not too comfortable. And just across from the seating area is a dining room table. It is actually the same size table and space that is in our Alliance Valor. So all four of us can sit around the table and enjoy a meal as well. And we can sit down and do school. So it's dual purpose. A must have for our viewers. Up top here is actually a pretty big loft space. Uh, this goes over the entire rear bedroom, which we'll get to in a minute. One thing we have noticed is that this placement of the ladder is permanent. It's not a ladder that you can fold up back into the wall, but right underneath the ladder is actually a little bit of storage. That's pretty clever. What we liked about the loft space is that there's actually windows on both sides. Uh, there's also some outlets, some cable hookups, and there's actually two ducts because this AC that's right to my left on the ceiling will be cooling that area and the rear bedroom and bathroom. Back here's what makes this floor plan pretty unique. This is a second bedroom. And I was curious about what the height of the ceiling would be. We finally wisened up. Thanks to the salesperson here, they had a tape measure, so we actually know, instead of guessing, six foot four is the height of this unit. First impressions, back here there is a queen bed. Uh, there are small tables on both sides of the bed. So perfect for your CPAP. And there's plug-ins and USB plugs, so we can charge our cell phones, maybe charge my e-reader. So it's nice to have those little nooks. Good use of space. There's another smart TV back here. It looks like it's insignia. I would guess somewhere around a 29 to 32 inch TV. There's a nice big giant window that allows a lot of air flow in, as well as windows all the way around the head of the bed so you get some good cross breezes going of course that window across from us is the safety exit as well but uh, just below that is a six drawer dresser and what is a really cool feature that alliance throws in all of their rigs is there's hidden storage just above the dresser so you can put things like your watches your jewelry or your tv remote right in there in addition to the six drawer dresser, you do have a his and hers armoire with hanging storage above and three additional storage drawers down below. And like most other RV beds, there's actually storage under the bed platform. That lifts right up and you can put more things in there. Let's move on to the second full bath. Mm, that is what makes this floor plan a DS. It is a dual suite. So the rear bedroom, has a full-size bathroom. Let's go check it out. If you're new to these Will I Fit videos, we do three main tests, and one of those is the toilet test. Can I sit on the toilet? Is it comfortable? And do I have leg room? Well, there's... 
about a hand's width between my knees and the wall in front of me. Uh, something that I have learned is maybe more important than the room in front of my legs is can I move my legs, spread them apart. There is room to do that here. Second test we always do is a shower test. And I know there's plenty of headroom back here, which I love. Let's check this out. Well, things we always look at is, yes, there's plenty of headroom. Ugh. I can reach my hand all the way to the ceiling. Now, another thing that I guess I would be concerned about is water splashing out this way. Uh, we have already, we've already joked. I could say hello to the neighbors. I don't know if anyone's going to be up that high, but there is a blind in here that we can close and open. Another thing I've been curious about is the actual elbow room in here. This is tighter than our current shower. I could get the job done. I can turn around. This does come off. But yeah, we're gonna need something above the shower doors to keep that water from going all over the place. But of course, what I really like is I don't have to worry about hitting my head at all while I'm in the shower. Until I go to get out. <clears throat> I guess this would be considered the master bathroom. Bathroom number two in this model, if you're keeping track. And yes, I have room in front of me. Even with the door closed, it'd be about here. Before I had a hand's width, now I probably have that much room between my knee and where the door would be. I can spread my legs apart, no problem there. Toilet test, good to go. Let's head to the shower. So this probably looks a little silly to you, but this is something that I am used to. If I stand up straight, my head is pressing up against the skylight. The skylight is a tall man's friend. What I always like to point out is that there is a stool in here. If need be, I can just sit down, shower off, and get out of here. Let's test that out. No grab bar. Nice! And I like these fixtures in here. I like that there's a corner shelf in the shower. There's also a soap dish tray. Much better elbow room in this shower. So again, as the DS implies, this is a dual suite. So at the front end of the coach is where you have another bathroom, full-size bathroom, and then you have the other master bedroom. Now this bedroom has a king-size bed as opposed to the queen-size bed in the back, but again, it lifts up and has lots of storage. Speaking of storage, there's a six-drawer dresser right in front of us with that hidden storage top. Mm -hmm. uh, what I always like to point out, there is another TV up here. TV's galore. This looks like another 29, 32-inch insignia TV. And what is neat is right next to the dresser, you have a little storage bench. So you can put things like your shoes, your extra pillows inside the storage, but it's also a soft cushion so you can sit there and put your shoes on for the day. And of course, right over here behind me is this huge, I guess I would call it a walk-in closet. There is washer dryer prep in there. Mm -hmm. There's shelves for you to put shoes on. We were joking, said, heck, that could be Natasha's office right in the closet. Well, we could make it work. It'd be a tight, dark fit. But, <laughs> but there is always that possibility, absolutely. In any case, you have lots of room to store lots of things. In fact, I could even see a baby bassinet going in there if you're a young family with a baby on the way. Not for us. Oh, no. Mm-mm. Two, we're good. So the Alliance 
Paradigm 395DS. We've been itching to see this model. Mm -hmm. And it is a fantastic floor plan. I love that there's really uh, space for eight people. Two in the loft at least, or three small children. Two in the rear queen size bed two in the king size bed up front and two more in the full size bed that folds out from the couch. So plenty of room and plenty of storage for everybody. Luckily, there's only four of us. And again, some of the big things that Alliance always does from the start is the beefier suspension parts from Moride, the solid steps from Lippert, the big, beautiful atrium windows that allow for great airflow, especially when your coach gets really warm on those hot summer days. And three air conditioners come standard. And also what I like is the fact that, yes, there are two full-size bathrooms, which is huge when we have teenagers. But I really, really love the living space as well. Plenty of space in the kitchen, the dining room, the living room area, lots of room to entertain, and it fits the entire family. It also comes standard with two solar panels and the solar setup. So you really have a lot of capability to make this coach your own and utilize it however you want to camp, whether that is in a campground or out in the sticks by yourself. That's a great segue to maybe our wish list. Maybe not negatives, but maybe our wish list. If it had an inverter to go along with that solar setup to at least power a few outlets, I know that's an optional package, but if you have the solar setup and the solar controller, why not just have at least a small inverter? Mm -hmm. I understand why they don't since it's a 12 volt fridge, but would be a nice addition. Something that I would personally love to see in this coach is a dedicated desk space. Perhaps uh, taking the dresser out of the rear bedroom and putting a desk in there would be perfect. That would help me so I could keep working from home. That is the one thing I'm struggling with this layout is trying to figure out how I would put that setup to use. If this paradigm had that desk as opposed to a dresser, mm, I think we would be buying a new RV today. But we have some things to think about for sure, before we make that switch. So I don't know, stay tuned. Either way, we love that we finally got a look at this in person. Mm -hmm. It is impressive. It does make us have to think about some things. We like it a lot. And if you like it and you like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Ring that notification bell. That way you are notified anytime we make another one of these Will I Fit videos or we go live. And leave us a comment down below. What was your favorite feature of this RV? What do you think of the floor plan? Would it work for you? Let us know. Well, I'm Bill. And I'm Natasha. And we are nursing our travel bug. Encouraging you to nurse what makes you happy. And that's an alliance. They make a great RV. Come on, be our fam ally. <laughs> Come on. Become an ally. Come on.